Chat. I'm gonna prove to you that I know punk. I'm gonna prove to you that I can handle stuff. One bite ain't gonna change anything. Take a bite? You guys aren't ready for me to take a bite. I'll take a bite at the end. If it's good, if the dock is good, I take a bite. If it's not good, I don't take a bite. Yeah. Dude, how crazy has this last month and a half been for me, chat? Bernal's Dock, Metagame, LACS3, Melee Stats Documentary. We changed the YouTube, and we're announcing that we're, we, we're moving away from EG, and we're moving, and there's just like so much happening. There's so much happening right now, chat. Bernal, you stream? That's hype as heck. I gotta roll through a Bernal stream sometime. What's up, dude? So I'm supposed to put this on and it's supposed to go to the side? That's how you're supposed to actually wear these things, but I don't really get it. Is this more correct, chat, than the other way I did it? Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Whew. What's up, guys? Today, we are gonna be watching Brunel's documentary about me. Me, a guy that has not had a documentary made about him in at least a month. Crazy. So we're gonna see a documentary about me. He's from Switzerland, speaks French, made a documentary about all the gods, and I've watched M2Ks and uh, Hboxes before. Watching mine now. Very excited for it. I think it's gonna be a good time. Bernal himself has said he's worried about my reaction to it. Will I judge him harshly? Or is he just a creator that put a lot of work in and is a little concerned for no reason because he's been so fair to the other players. I think the latter, we're gonna get into it, but right before we do, I have a I have a prop, chat. I have a prop that I shall now unleash. Yeah! 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 You thought, you thought that the hat was the end? No! No! It's the baggage chat! Yeah! That's right! You thought that on today, January 15th, 2020, it would be a sad day! No! No! And no! No! Today is a good day! Because we're gonna watch that French thing so that the French people stop asking me if I watched it! And that's cool! Baguette day, we got the hat. Thank you, and thank you in chat. Thank you guys, right there. Thank you. We're gonna get into the video really soon, okay? So don't go anywhere. We're gonna see the new overlay too while we do it. It's gonna be awesome. Smells like it's been here for three days. Thank you, uh, Nuzzle, for the gift of French. I appreciate it. All right. On connaît le robot. On connaît le on, gamin, connaît. on connaît le sniper, sniper. et on connaît le rondoudou. Mais on connaît beaucoup moins le cinquième dieu de mêlée. Il semble presque se faire discret. Qui est-il est Comment a-t-il atteint le rang de dieu Et mm, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Ça actually smells pretty good. Par beaucoup aujourd'hui, il n'y a pas si longtemps. Forgotten by so many people after metagame. En quatre lettres inspirées peur et respect mm. chez tous les compétiteurs. Laissez-moi vous parler de Kevin Nani, plus connu. Kevin sur... Nani Oh, the French accent. My name is sick with a French accent. Nom de PPMD. Thank you everyone that worked on it. Oh, Anna Tails in here. I know Anatale. Dit commence à jouer à mêlée en utilisant Mario. Mais plus important que yeah. son choix de personnage atypique est l'endroit où il habite. PPMD est originaire de Shelby. What? Is he got on Google? He got on Google Earth. This is looking at downtown Shelby. Oh, what is this? Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, that's weird. That, dude, technology is crazy. Yeah, the uh, farmers markets around here and. And train tracks and this is not where I live, but still. Yeah, he knows, dude. Dude, Bernal is gonna send baguettes to my house. This is actually where this came from. I didn't buy it from Whole Foods three days ago and let it get stale, so it'd be better prop for this thing. No, Bernal sent it to me. Thank you, Bernal. Communauté active près de leur domicile et beaucoup de très bons joueurs à affronter. Pour PPMD, c'était la galère de simplement trouver. 
I will say that was also pretty hard for Armada, although he did live with like a high level player in the beginning. I played my little brother, he was 11 years old, and so I taught him how to play and we played together. And then I would record it, and then I would go put it on my computer and I would watch it. And then I'd say, okay. Okay, but before that, I put it on my VCR to put it on my computer. Very important part technology clutch. What can I do better? What was good? What was bad? The next day we play again. Et que son petit frère ne soit pas Yeah, VCR tape. Pour PPMD. En regardant ces matchs, il se focalise sur ce <laughs> I just roll twice in the beginning. Faire, en plus de s'entraîner des heures et des heures tout seul pour apprendre les nombreuses techniques et mouvements de mêlée. Dans sa quête de compréhension du jeu, PPMD finit par That's right. Smash I'm keeping smash boards up. Let's go baby. Never die. Never say die smash boards. Yeah! There was this player from Florida named Shizwiz. He was an inspiring player. He was very aggressive. He was very technical, very exciting. Everyone wanted to be him when he played Falco. So I said, well, heck, I'm going to, you know, be kind of like him. Désormais, PPMD utiliserait Falco et il commence à se déplacer en tournoi. Convaincu qu'il Where have I heard this story before? Va se faire détruire, il décide de se donner un pseudo. <laughs> il entre dans la compétition sous le nom de Dr. PP, que vous pouvez traduire par Dr. du PP. <laughs> ah, you have to deal with it in French now, too! That sucks! Yup, Dr. Dupipi! That's about the only way they're going to remember. Ah, back when I had the crazy mess on that chair all the time. Yeah, that was an interesting time in my life. People were always joking, they were like, it's not a PPMD stream if there's not, like, laundry that needs to be done that's in the frame, and so then I did my laundry. Everyone can hold that. Mais à sa grande surprise, PPMD se débrouille bien dès ses premiers tournois locaux et ce pseudo ridicule va rester. Alors par souci de clarté, je n'utiliserai que le nom PPMD dans la vidéo. It. Mais vous étonnez pas si vous voyez apparaître Dr. PP dans les médias. Que <coughs> dès 2009, PPMD so est le meilleur joueur de son état. Every tournament I traveled, I'd do well and I'd meet Hungry Box and he you know, beat me every time. It was rough. En novembre 2009, just keep beating me. son premier tournoi majeur. Sub Zero. Rival of Melee 2. Et il brille en arrivant carrément en grande finale. Où il uh, <laughs> I've seen that Ford smash so many times. Majeur, personne ne l'avait vu venir. Il s'était classé ici plus haut que le meilleur joueur du monde de cette époque, Mengo. And look, how, look at the prize pool back then, huh? Esports. Yeah, we like esports. Yeah. <laughs> Mango really wanted me to be his successor in a way back then. He was like, ah, you know, I'm not feeling this. I'm trying to kind of move. Is it Death Note? No, it's not. We played tons of friendlies. Mango adore voir PPM D jouer Falco. Et il veut le faire de Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Mango adore voir. Uh, this is. This is generous. But okay. PPMD jouer Falco et il veut le faire devenir encore plus fort. PPMD s'était trouvé un soutien de taille. Le tournoi majeur suivant de PPMD est le Pound 4 en janvier 2010 où il termine 9ème. Un tournoi qui reste. I am somewhat messing around. I think, I think depending on the day, Mango either loves or hates my Falco. Oh, the Sin. Sin Quin. Sin Quim. How do you say that word? How do you say fifth? Dieu de mêlée. How do you say fifth in French? My first French lesson of the day. Cinquième? Why do you say Saint-Kiem? Saint-Kiem. All right, I'm going, I'm going uh, Cinquième. Cinquième du de mêlée. All right, cool. I'll forget after this, but I'm, I'm here for it. Dem, uh, cinquième du de mêlée. Démonique. Don't think I forgot Bruno, because I didn't. Puis PPMD enchaîne deux nouvelles victoires et arrive en grande finale du tour. What a good level. Déjà battu un dieu, il allait devoir en affronter un autre, Mewtwo King. Et là où ça devient vraiment homérique, c'est quand un autre dieu, Mengo, vient lui aussi participer à la fête. Voyez-vous, le revival of Melee 3, c'est la fameuse fois où Mengo a sorti un vieux Link contre Ganondorf. Il joue à la a rusted Link. en sortant Captain Falcon et Mars. Doink. Il termine 9ème et il s'en fout. Il est là pour s'amuser. Il est là pour encourager son That's true. PPMD. Et That's PPMD true. a bien besoin de son aide. <laughs> I need his help. Mega will be. Et Falco particulièrement. You know, he's supposed to be that spacey slayer and all that stuff, you know, 
Il massacre les animaux de l'espace. Hey, hey, I hope you're not the other guy getting thrown. Hey. Et à cette époque, PPMD avec son pauvre Falco n'a jamais gagné contre lui. Mais God, by the way, when M2K first came to North Carolina tournaments, like I would sit down and play him, and he would just pick FD and chain grab me, and I'm like, well, we could play on other levels, but he's just like, no. I'm like, okay. So he starts saying. On est à New York, dans le territoire de Mewtwo King, et ce salaud de Mewtwo <rire> commence à parier contre le héros de la région. C'est intolérable. Un des deux joueurs pour montrer son hat is a look, la yeah. monte, la It's est en incredible what I'm doing here. Finale. Les spectateurs avaient maintenant leur argent en jeu. Doing. Imagine holding out in 2010. Hey. <laughs> Imagine hitting that combo. Yeah. coming together. That people are hype. This is great. It was great. Et le Toxic Taunt. Il remporte ici son tout premier tournoi majeur, puis termine l'année 2010 numéro 5. Et c'est le jour numéro 5. Yay! Le top 5 de Melee pendant de longues années. L'ère des 5 dieux avait commencé. Ok, je dirais que je n'étais pas un dieu à ce point, mais je pense que c'est un peu débat. Février 2011, c'est le Pound 5. Comme l'année précédente, le tournoi est énorme yeah. et les 5 dieux sont présents. Sur sa route, PPMD bat encore mieux. <rire> Will win. <laughs> il arrive en grande finale où il retrouve le seul dieu qu'il n'a encore jamais. How much did Mango get from the bets? I actually don't know, but also not enough to make it worth it, probably. Armada. PPMD est chaud comme la braise. Les commentateurs. I don't know what that phrase would have been in French. Il a déjà commencé ses combos. I like this music. That was pretty hype, even if it didn't work out for me. La fée. Oh, this music's hype. Let's go. PPMD sera de ceux qui vont battre Hungry Box à répétition. Et là où Armada et Mengo ne sont pas en train de pour Rondoudou, PPMD, ben c'est tout l'inverse. I love fighting Pop. So and he doesn't like fighting me. The <laughs> I forgot. I haven't seen that interview like in years. So that was very funny. I wasn't really sure what to expect. But yeah, I like fighting Puff. As long as I'm not in like a terrible move, fighting Puff is just fun. It's fun. I, I don't like playing fast-paced matches. Like I, I can fight Fox, but I like slowing the tempo down. down. Oh, interesting. Huh. I didn't know I thought that way at the time. I don't really think that way now. It's cool. Okay, so Puff is just PPMD enchaîne les excellents résultats après sa victoire au Pound 5. Seven de Genesis 2. Numéro 3 mondial en 2011, numéro 2 en 2012 en dépassant son mentor Mengo et même après avoir atteint le rang de dieu, PPMD continue de construire son parcours sur les mêmes bases que depuis les premiers jours. L'analyse de match et le theory crafting, c'est-à-dire le. Um, there's something that Bruno hasn't talked about, but he's kind of referencing here again. So yeah, I did analysis and yeah, I did theory crafting, but a lot of it was collaborative chat. That means like someone like one of you and then someone like one of me would have spent time talking to each other about like the game, about like what they're learning about and everything else that's going on in the meta. What, what you see changing on the horizon out there, what's going on back there or around here. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, one of you guys, absolutely. And so, I talks about that after, yeah. Uh, well, I just kind of wanted to point out really quickly that like, there is a whole lot that I had to do, but you can't do it alone. You do need homies, uh, but if you keep doing the work, the homies appear. So, do the work. 
PPMD qui aide les nouveaux joueurs de mêlée. Il est très actif sur les forums pour répondre aux questions. What's my post count on this? Show my post count. Show my post count. Jouer Falco car pour PPMD, il est hors de question de ne pas aider son prochain. A lot of people that are either knowledgeable or high level, they don't want to put their ideas out there. They want to hide their tactics. There is, I think, a huge Uh, gap here for smash knowledge that I really love to fill and I really hope I can uh, bring that to you guys That's changed a little bit with some people coaching um, But yeah, I, I like that I like that there is more I always liked that there was so much high-level discussion on smash boards And I've always like felt a gap there where I've really missed that so good job past me really don't have anything to disagree with um, Surprised I just said it so outrightly though PPMD est le joueur à regarder jouer pour apprendre mêlée. Il est considéré comme le joueur de Smash avec les meilleurs fondamentaux et le meilleur nœud. I actually think that people didn't start talking about my neutral until after Apex 2015, which is really interesting. I am either going to talk about it depending on what Bernal does here or when I do my analysis of that tournament. Anyway. Neutral. Les phases de neutral dans un neutral, match de neutral, neutral. Oh, les neutral, magnifico, magnifique. Hon, hon, hon. Had to have a French moment. C'est les moments où aucun des deux joueurs n'a l'avantage sur l'autre, où ils ont tous les deux toutes leurs de dispositions. Depuis you know cette what phase, it is. chaque joueur va tenter de trouver une ouverture, toucher l'adversaire. That's such a sick shine, by the way. Commencer une phase davantage. Quand on dit que PPMD a le meilleur, you're an escrow with laser. Plus simplement que c'est extrêmement dur de le toucher, grâce notamment à sa façon de bouger, <laughs> alors que lui trouve facilement des ouvertures. It's hard. <laughs> It's so hard to get in, and it's frustrating. I was giving you the opportunity to slander my horrific punish game. No, this is amazing as well, dude. That's right! I, that was a subtle dig at a lot of people that were always saying my punish game was super whack. Thank you, Armada, for actually calling it like it is. But yeah, my freaking, I've, I've held that L on the punish game thing for so many years. I can't wait to show you guys how well I can freaking punish! But anyway. Ah, we, we hit those when I'm half asleep. Optimal et méthodique de Mewtwo King et Armada, certes. Well, you can't have a you can't have an optimal Falco punish game. The essence of Falco punish game is it has to be scuffed. It's too much DI stuff. Oh, let me dancing. Hi, yay. But if I'm not having a good time, or I'm not you know learning, or I'm not expressing myself. I don't really feel like it was a win I've really liked. And for a lot of my wins, I haven't felt like I've really been able to express myself as well as I've liked. I have so much more I want to prove with what I'm doing. Agree. Agree. God, even so much more now, because I'm so much more of a realized, self-fulfilled person. That's such a good interview that that it wasn't used in the Medicaid. Frick, yeah. Yeah, tell them, PP. Tell them, tell, tell them, yeah. Good words. I agree, 100%. I salute you with my baguette. Oh. PPMD, c'est aussi beaucoup d'idées noires, beaucoup de remises en question, surtout depuis 2010, quand il devient vraiment connu. Il commence à ressentir la pression d'avoir des fans, des gens qui attendent qu'il performe. Il ne supporte pas l'idée de pouvoir les décevoir. C'est vrai, j'aime quand je fais les gens sad. C'est vrai. Voir très souvent à deux doigts de tomber dans la dépression, PPMD développera un concept d'acceptation. If I lose, I lose. You're fallible. Sometimes you have a bad day. Sometimes other people have a really good day. It happens. Also important to note that um that I've been working on honing that further, and it's actually contradictory. To accept failure means that you will be much less likely to fail because you now no longer are tensed up at the possibility of that. You're no longer creating the outcome by thinking about it a lot and being worried about it. You are then able to focus on the win. So very important to accept the possibility of loss, to respect your opponents, to accept yourself as someone who can handle losing. Um, that makes you much less likely to lose. It's a paradox, but it does work. I will show you in time. I've also showed you a little bit, but you know what I mean. 336 participants, l'Apex 2014, <laughs> l'Apex 629, près du double, et ça faisait de ce tournoi Doob. le deuxième plus gros événement Smash de l'histoire à cette époque. Et si j'ai attendu la cinquième vidéo pour vous parler d'une série de wow. aussi énormes... Wow, he didn't mention Apex the whole time, that must have been really difficult. That's pretty impressive. Wow, he saved Apex for talking about me, yay.
C'est parce que c'est ici que PPMD a écrit sa légende. L'Apex 2014 serait un des rares tournois où il pourrait se dire fier de la façon dont il joue. <rire> I have seen so many people talk about that. Oh, I love that Ford Smash hitbox. No more taunt. En finale winner, PPMD affronte Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King va l'amener dans son royaume sur destination finale. Pour destination finale. That's a throwback to that first time thing we watched. Mais PPMD n'allait pas se faire rôtir si facilement cette fois. Et il sort un personnage qu'il entraîne déjà depuis quelques temps, Mars. Il allait affronter le Mars de Mewtwo King, le meilleur Mars du monde, <laughs> avec crazy. son propre personnage. Dites, vous me croyez si je vous dis que PPMD lui a mis 4 vies Oh, that fair was so good. <laughs> I forgot he ran off. Oh, it barely hits. And it hits right at the drop of the song too. En grand final, PPMD affronte à nouveau Mewtwo King. Grand final. Mewtwo King ne va même pas oser prendre <laughs> une seule dare. fois destination finale. <laughs> Doink. Oh. Oh. Wait, he's still living. He's still living. That's it. That's it. The champion. What's the next one? Two of them. Domination incroyable de PPMD sur tout le tournoi. Après sa <laughs> Just mosh pit. 2014, il semblait réellement mm. imbattable. Dès 2013, PPMD commençait donc à jouer Mars plus fréquemment, en plus de son Falco. Et il a une relation assez particulière avec ses deux. And it had nothing to do with the length of either character's dash. Just want to make that clear. Personnage. Il choisit celui qu'il va jouer pas tant en fonction de l'adversaire que en fonction de comment lui-même se ah, sent. That's why everyone says that. Quand PPMD est joyeux ou en colère, qu'il ressent de fortes émotions, il choisit Falco. C'est son personnage du cœur. Tandis que quand il se sent plus dépressif ou fatigué, son Mars devient le meilleur choix car fatigué. ça lui demande moins d'énergie de le jouer. C'est un personnage plus froid et moins risqué. Evil Geniuses. L'équipe a cette époque à cette époque de Justin Wong, une légende. Justin Wong, un des meilleurs joueurs de jeux de combat de l'histoire, et ils ont choisi PPMD pour les représenter sur Smash Bros. Pas mal. That's a cuatro. That's Spanish, by the way. <laughs> Finito. <laughs> I was so pumped. PPMD ne faisait que très peu de tournois, mais quand il venait, il éclatait tout le monde. Et c'est comme une évidence qu'au classement d'été 2014, il est classé True. numéro 1 mondial. On allait partir sur une période de domination sans partage de PPMD, c'était sûr. Il se construisait cette image de l'ermite. Kelp, well, thank you for the 12 and the 2. De temps en temps pour apprendre à la Quater, it's French. On joue à ce jeu. Yeah, it sounds really nice when you say I'm like a monk and I go away. That's not what it's like for me. I'm battling, you know, depression, anxiety, terrible thoughts and feelings every day. Malheureusement, avec PPMD, la dépression. That was such a hard period. Winning stuff, feeling that way, is crazy. All the stress from from people saying, you know, you're the best. Are you going to keep doing this? Are you going to be able to win this thing or this thing? Anxiety just kind of like manifested itself physically in my body. And I just got super nervous and, and sick, and that ended up uh, just being a really big problem for me. PPMD n'est plus en état de venir en tournoi. That period of my life was so incredibly hard. That period of my life was so incredibly hard. I'm going to say that again just so that you guys understand that. That was such a hard period because, like, I was still competing infrequently, and I was... Put this down because I'm going to actually be serious for a second. I was actually competing infrequently, Uh, because there was just so much stuff that I was trying to work through and read and feel and uh, develop for myself. It was a very transformative time for Melee, but also for me. 
I just wasn't used to esports and how different all of that was. And but just so much stuff was changing for me outside of that that it was just different. Now, obviously, the community is going through more changes now, um, and I'm going through more changes now. But I believe I'm managing the change like so much better. And like, I mean, people are seeing the way I'm acting and everything like that. But um, kind of just wanted to talk about the relationship of the thing that's going on in the community and what's going on with me. I don't exist in a vacuum. If Melee had been the way it had been before, the changes would have still happened with me, but they would have been different in terms of the narrative overall of the community. But yeah, it was a really hard time. Depression's a really serious uh, thing, but it's not been an eternal thing. Like I've been working with um, someone who's very knowledgeable to make thing, to help get things better, to know myself better, and to most importantly accept you know what I have that is good and not just say oh well these are these things that are bad because like there's so much focus on that in. Um, in like the regular way that we talk about things. And so I, I'm having to change the way I think a lot um, relative to like the culture around, for example. But I'll talk more about that towards the end because I'm sure we're about to get into that part of the documentary. I can kind of feel it coming. So I just kind of wanted to head that off up front. And then when we get into whatever we get into, I will talk to you about that a little bit more. And thank you guys for the love and chat. Now YouTube can see how, how beautiful you guys all are. That's very cool. So the stress from all this would make me sick. Not only that. So the stress did contribute majorly and I was getting sick. Like I would get physically ill ever since I won pound five. I would get nervous before tournaments and I would get so be like, I, I don't know if I can hold on to this thing. I'm a top player and now I'm worried about losing. Like anyone can beat me. And, and like I would just get sick before every event. I would be so nervous. Um, that I would get sick before every event. It was at, it was at its worst before Genesis 2, but it really happened at pretty much every tournament, kind of, kind of to a lesser extent in 2014, but still happened some um, at Apex 2015 as well. Not as much uh, as showing that I was getting better about managing um, that stress and that sort of thing, but um, hadn't fully been able to... And, and there were other things going on. Metagame has talked about some of those other things, but there was a lot going on, like I was saying. And just um, competing more and just trying and like I when I have a challenge, I like moving away, going within myself and saying, what is going on? How can I make peace with it? What does it have to tell me? What does it have to say? Where does this come from? Is it come from something earlier in my life? Does it come from a person I know? Is it something that's me? Um, is it from culture? Like and I have to interact with that and make peace with it wherever it is in whatever forms it is. And if there's a part of them, like I, you know, there's a part of like, I'm like, my teenage self was upset about something. I have to think about like how that impacted me then and how it does now. And so there's like many levels and aspects and layers to it. So this is not something I have idly done. It's a process that I've been continuing to develop and add more tools to for many, many years now. Um, so it's very, it's a very important thing. I don't think everyone has to go about things the way I do, but I will say that introspection is incredibly valuable no matter who you are. And I think just because I really go into that place doesn't mean that it's not valuable for other people. But yeah, just want to make that clear. Someone did ask. All right, bagel. We're not bagel. Big long bagel. You just really mess this up and just cost us so much money. PPM hey, that's the meta game thing. Troisième place mondiale. Comme une étoile filante, il avait brillé de mille feux pendant quelques temps, puis s'était désintégré. Puis est arrivé 2015. Fin janvier se déroule l'Apex 2015. L'Apex. Le gagne encore en puissance avec 1037 joueurs annoncés. Ça doit être le plus gros tournoi de l'histoire de Smash Bros à ce moment-là. La première fois qu'on dépasse les 1000 inscrits et après si long mois sans le moindre tournoi à son avis, <rire> il a longer bagel <rire> pour défendre le titre qu'il avait gagné l'année précédente un ppm dit qu'on ne sent pas en forme wow what an interesting two words he really put right there an interesting two words almost like almost like there's foreshadowing that at the event we could have known more that was coming uh, forward in the future here and that I have not actually played my best yet. Watch where you're shaking that thing. Shake that wherever I want to shake it, mister. Très fatigué. Cette fois, il allait utiliser son Mars presque tout le tournoi. Oh, I love this song. 
I love this song. I haven't heard this remix of it. This music is so good for this. Good stuff for Noel. Good stuff, gamer. TP, thank you for the 21. Yeah, I'm doing okay. All right, I'm glad the music got more hardcore. I was about to cry. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry on stream. Get him! La grande finale est contre Arnold. Hey, that's the emo. Il remporte le premier set 3 à 2. I love the light up B. I, look, I'm just gonna talk about it for a second. Look how long I wait. I know that there's enough stun. I just wait that long period of time. A lot of people would go early there. I just love that like I still had the awareness to know that the right moment would come. Frick, man. So much cool stuff about this tournament. Ah, uh, the dashes are so beautiful. That was not beautiful. Les images parlent d'elles-mêmes. Vous voyez la joie du public de voir PPMD gagner. L'histoire semble pour être vraie. Ce joueur ne joue pas pendant des mois en combattant la dépression, revient et gagne le plus grand tournoi jamais organisé. La salle est en feu et PPMD est juste sur son siège, sa tête dans ses mains. Il est. That tournament lands so late too. Pas y croire, il l'a fait. Everyone popped out so hard for the I did it, dude. I did it. Oh. Je pensais que ça relancer la carrière de PPMD qui reviendrait régulièrement. Web, thank you for the gift. Les plus lucides avaient déjà compris que quelque chose n'allait pas. Cette fatigue visible entre ces matchs n'était pas juste due à une. Good stuff, Bernal. Good stuff. He didn't just reference it. He's going to talk about how there actually was a link between Apex 2015 and what happened afterward. Good stuff. This guy's got an eye for documentaries. Let's go. Il y avait une autre maladie qui se cachait là-dessous. Une mystérieuse maladie qui éloigne à nouveau PPMD de la compétition pendant plusieurs mois. As soon as I get out of this slump I'm in, which is coming, it's coming. I've told people it's coming. It should be no more than a couple months from now. I'll be back. I'll tell everyone. I'll be streaming, competing, training harder. Huh. Yeah, I remember that now. So at that time. Um, I was, I had a strange double think going on where I recognized that I recognized that something was going on and the way I had solved it had largely worked up to that point, but I had stopped doing good things by the time I went to Evo. So it's actually really surprising. So I think like, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a blunder. But it's not an unfair blunder. So I ask everyone to be patient for just a little longer. Mais ça ne se passe pas comme prévu. Après l'Evo, rien du tout jusqu'en novembre où PPMD est invité. Ah, oh, this is good. Oh, this is, I, whatever he does here is going to be rough. Nouveau tournoi qui deviendrait absolument iconique au fil des années. PPMD ne peut pas vraiment refuser l'invitation et participe. Il y passe un mauvais moment, sans bien qu'il ne joue plus du tout à son niveau habituel et oh, we game five. contre Plop. Il termine cinquième. Il a une lourde carence de testostérone qui le rend très fatigué très vite, tout le temps. I love the flame même in it. Même ses mains, sa mémoire. Il n'arrive plus à suivre et comprendre ce qu'il se passe dans un match de mêlée. N'arrive plus à retenir les habitudes de son adversaire. Ne peut même I pas s'entraîner. I pommel so pitifully there too. Oublie ce qu'il apprend. Et ça, c'est pour les effets d'un Smash Bros. La maladie lui fait aussi vivre un enfer dans sa vie de tous les jours. Une chose était sûre, PPMD n'allait pas guérir du jour au lendemain. Et oh yeah, messed up my eyes. En plus de cette carence de testostérone, PPMD souffrait déjà aussi d'un syndrome de fatigue chronique. Ouais, il n'a pas été... Fatigue éternel. chronique, yeah, I agree. Ah, oh, fudge
Janvier 2016. Uh, this is the hard part. Brace yourselves, we're going in. Grand retour du Genesis. You can do it. Éliminé par Mengo, qui était sur sa route pour défier Armada en grande finale. Un sec 3-0 de la part de son ancien mentor. PPMD termine sixième à ce tournoi, puis il retourne en mode ermite pour continuer de se soigner. Mais en mars 2016, ce strong, fois, yeah. un événement qu'il ne peut pas pas décliné. Un autre événement sur invitation uniquement. Le tournoi the Battle of the Five. Well, that's a good idea for a tournament. We'll say that. Les 5 dieux plus 15 autres joueurs du top mondial sont présents. PPMD passe peut-être le pire moment de sa carrière. Il n'y arrive plus. Il ressent plus que jamais les effets de la maladie. <laughs> <laughs> He is more than ever down with his sickness. Yeah. Thank you, Bruno. I needed that. Des dieux, il y en avait encore, mais désormais, il ne serait plus 5. PPMD se fait alors la promesse que la prochaine fois qu'il reviendrait en tournoi, il serait à 100% et fier de lui. Et ça prendrait le temps que ça prendrait. Wow, well, this will be an interesting part. Après Battle of the Five Gods, PPMD commence à communiquer plus souvent sur son état de santé, notamment sur sa chaîne YouTube où il fait quelques fois par année des mises à jour sur son état. Mais s'il se veut souvent rassurant, on sent au fil des années à quel point c'est compliqué pour lui. Le plus visible et impressionnant étant sa grande perte de poids mois après mois. Plusieurs fois, PPMD promet un retour prochain à la compétition, mais so I stop doing that. Il savoir qu'il déçoit à chaque promesse de retour les fans qui l'attendent lui fait très oh, actuel, oh. Battle of the Five Gods This part's le hard. dernier tournoi de mêlée auquel a participé PPMD le dernier tournoi où les cinq dieux ont participé ensemble I've never had an experience like that in tournament I've had a high fever and flu and stuff like that at a tournament before and things were not nearly as bad as what I felt what I felt at Battle of the Five Gods that yeah. tournament was brutal it was like loss after loss after loss after loss Lost, and it wasn't close. I really don't want a repeat of that tournament. That that feeling of, of weakness and everything was, was enormously scary. To oh. Alors, est-ce que PPMD va revenir un jour C'est la question que se posent ses fans depuis près de 5 ans. C'était un joueur adoré qui a laissé une marque indélébile sur la scène, loin d'être oublié pour ceux qui l'ont connu à son apogée. Vous verrez par exemple Mengo jouer avec le tag PPMD de temps en temps. Which has been really nice of him. Disparu de la circulation. Il se soigne gentiment. Et il a maintenant à nouveau l'endurance nécessaire pour streamer régulièrement et pour jouer à mêlée avec ses spectateurs. PPMD est allé au Genesis 7, pas en tant que participant bien sûr, mais pour rencontrer la communauté Smash à nouveau, comme spectateur et comme commentateur. Si les grandes foules et rencontrer des gens, prendre des photos et signer des autographes, le vide toujours très rapidement de toute son énergie. Car cette fatigue, c'est toujours ce qui l'empêche de participer à des tours. I did get a really good second wind, though. It's not truly because of Twitch chat. It's not truly because of fear or whatever. The reason I'm in play tourneys is because I have chronic fatigue syndrome. It makes me very tired. It lowers my reaction. I had to just go play as well as I can. It makes me not learn from matches as well as I can. In fact, I learn very little from matches. I don't really improve. I'm not going to do it until I feel like I can actually do it and actually enjoy it and actually learn from Agree. it. Agree. And if you don't accept and understand that, that's fine. Un petit mot aussi sur son équipe e-sport Evil Genius. Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Oh, 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 this is so weird! I didn't know this was going to happen! I didn't know this part! I didn't know this part was going to... Ah! Ah! va revenir un jour à la compétition, je n'en sais rien. Tout well, that's awkward. J'espère avant tout qu'il se porte bien et que j'ai pu vous expliquer. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm glad that part's over. Whew, that was weird. Un dernier épisode plus court et qui ne termine pas forcément cette série sur une note ultra positive, mais c'est aussi ça l'histoire de ce jeu. Et de ces Fair enough, Bruno. Il y a des hauts et il y a des bas. Je souhaite à PPMD que le plus dur soit derrière lui et que les beaux jours reviennent. Il le mérite. This melee thing like is blowing up so much and it's what I love. You get to like, you know, push yourself, you get to like interact with other people. Well, I get to be so fulfilled. And that's what living is about. Like, people say like you're good at Smash, but you're bad at life. No. 
you're good at Smash and you love what you're doing, you're doing good at life. People need to think about that more when they talk about like, you know, what what really makes you happy. Because like, you can go to your nine to five and you can be miserable. You can make your money and then come home and be like, I wonder why I'm not fulfilled. So I'm gonna tell other people they're not fulfilled for doing what makes them happy. I'm doing what makes me happy. And uh, if I end up going all the way with Melee, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm just gonna try and figure it out. Listen. Listen to me, chat. That was hard to watch. But it was fair. Put the music on. No, I'm not putting the music on for this. No music for this part. You deal with me for this part, chat. That was hard to watch, not because it was unfair. It was fair. There are a lot of people with doubts. There are a lot of people with uncertainty. There are a lot of people that have struggles and they give up and they say that this is the same thing that this person is doing. There are some people that think people are gonna be the same way and that they don't change. Pausing so you guys can sit with that for a moment. That's not what I think. That's not what I think at all. I think people can change. I think people can grow. I think people can do better. I think people can do more. I think people can realize the great, beautiful potential they have within themselves. And that's something I've issued to you over and over and over again the whole time I've been streaming. Not only that, but I've shown it in the fact that I could do more on stream in the fact that I act more like myself and more like a real person. And I'm willing to watch a documentary that will go over the parts where I was at my weakest, that I was talking in unfortunate ways, that I was promising things that I wasn't aware that I couldn't fulfill because I had never encountered a variation of the problem that I had had before in a new way. And I recognize that there are people that would make a completely logical decision um, about where I would go based on that. But I think if you're here today and I think if you're watching this, that you at least have enough of an open mind or you have enough honesty or at least enough acceptance to what I'm saying to know that there is another way to live. There's another way to be. There's another way to understand people. And I think even if you don't fully agree with me, even if you have whatever belief you do about me, as long as you know that things can change, that's all that matters. You don't have to, you don't even have to believe it with me. I would love for you to, but I'm not here to convince you guys one way or the other. I'm not here to tell you guys what I am or I am not. You all have the power to make your own decisions and I can't make them for you. All I can do is be my best self and show you guys something every day. That documentary was hard to watch, not because it was unfair, but because it's human and it's real and it's fairly done. And I'm glad Bernal made it. Um, a lot of people watched that documentary and what did they take away from it? What happened in my chat after that documentary was watched? Was it a bunch of people coming in telling me that I'll never return? Was it a bunch of people writing me off and tweeting hurtful things to me? Coming into other Twitch chats and being rude? No, that's not what happened. What I got was a ton of French people coming in and being supportive, saying the French people largely understood and supported me. And they came in and they watched me do non-melee things. And they came into my Discord. They came into my community and they were very wonderful. It's been good people that have come in. It's good people that have resonated with my struggles because they have struggles too and they understand what it's like to struggle and they also understand that things can get better. And regardless of the tone of the ending of this documentary, truthful though, however truthful you may want to say it is, that's not what I want to put out into the world. Sadness is not what I want to put out into the world. I'm, I'm so beyond done putting out sadness into the world. I'm beyond putting sadness into the world. I'm done with it. Sadness is part of life. It's a feeling you should feel, but it's not the primary thing I've wanted to put out. It's not the primary thing I show you on stream because it's not the primary way I live. The way I live now is to give more good to people. And so I hope you can understand that and I hope you feel that with the way I talk to you all. So for the rest of it, thank you, Bruno, for making this great series. Thank you, Bernal, for giving the French people to make an informed decision on what they think about Melee and the people that play it. Um, 
and the the music was good, editing was good. I think it was very fairly done. Um, I don't think I don't think your opinion on it is inaccurate or unfair at all. Um, maybe I'll earn the right to a good follow up one day. That's my hope. I think that's the most optimistic way to end off on it. But thank you, man, for for taking the time to put this together. Um, certainly, no hard feelings in any direction about it. It was an accurate reflection of I think of what a lot of the community thinks. And so I'm, I'm honored that you took the time to do that. And it'll be my job going forward to do my best to give a new reflection on myself. So thank you, man. Thank you for the hearts and chat. I'm going to prove to you I ain't no punk. I'm going to prove to you that I can handle stuff. Been on a diet for a few years. One bite ain't going to change anything. I ain't no punk, chat. Don't you forget it. Not the middle. I ain't no punk. Let's get that bread, that's right. Is it good? It's alright. For a three day old uh, Saint Germain baguette, yeah. <laughs> Can I go take a bite for my own baguette in your honor? We bite together. Very cool hat, yeah. I am fashion. Lay back air, can you say it again please? Lay back air! And up throw repos. A repo, not an O, not an OS. Re up throw repo. But I, all I know is, <sighs> what what you focus on is what you feel, and I don't want to focus on suffering anymore. Tired of it. Absolutely tired of it. I want to focus on how sick life is, how sick you guys all are, how great it is to be able to stream, how great it is to be able to have such improved online melee, how great of a game melee still is, how great life can be. How much more I have to learn and how much I have learned. There's so much good out there. Let's focus on some good. Yeah. So we've now watched three of the five Bernal documentaries. I don't anticipate doing any more. I uh, wanted to tap into some of the metagame hype. I wanted to watch my own. I thought, I didn't know at the time when I started watching these, what was going to happen with EG. And uh, I think today is important. I do chat. I think today, in a month and a half of crazy change of things being focused on me, is another sign that things are continuing to change. Is another sign that, um, yeah, things could be different. I'm pretty curious to see where we go from here, for sure. First time watching the doc move me, but your last words after you watched were downright inspiring. Deserve every good thing coming your way. Thank you, Asmar. Thank you. It's an important day. It's a certainly a bit more of a vulnerable day, but I think also a hopeful day. So I think it's good. Have a good weekend. Peace. You did it! Yeah! Hands off my bread, thank you.